Hello everyone. Today's video is about key enzymes. And before that, if you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. If you like it, like it and share it. In multicellular metabolism, groups of enzymes they work together to carry out a given metabolic process. For example, in this picture you can see a group of enzymes are involved in conversion of glucose to pyruvate. Each pathway however includes one or more enzymes that have greater effect on the rate of overall sequence. Such a regulatory enzyme in a pathway is called as key enzyme or rate limiting enzyme. For example, phosphofructokinase which is the main regulatory enzyme of glycolysis. It is example for key enzyme or rate limiting enzyme. So this phosphofructokinase is also known as allosteric enzyme. So details of allosteric enzyme I explained in another video. You can check the i button for this and I'll also provide the link in the description. The activity of these regulatory enzymes is increased or decreased in response to certain signals. I will see how this phosphofructokinase activity is regulated in response to signals. So glycolysis produces ATP. So when the ATP level is more in a cell, it binds to allosteric site of phosphofructokinase and inhibits or decreases its activity, which leads to decrease in the rate of glycolysis. But whenever AMP level is more, this AMP binds to phosphofructokinase at allosteric site and increases its activity in such a way that substrate can bind with the active site and which leads to increased rate of glycolysis. Coming to other examples of key enzymes are rate limiting enzymes. In case of gluconeogenesis, one of the key enzymes is pyruvate carboxylase. It is its activity is decreased by AMP and increased by ATP. And the key enzyme of TCA cycle, isocitrate dehydrogenase, its activity is increased by ADP and decreased by ATP. ADP increases the activity of isocitrate dehydrogenase because it indicates the low energy state, whereas ATP decreases the activity because it indicates the high energy state of the cell. In most multi enzyme systems, the first enzyme of the sequence is a regulatory enzyme. This is an excellent place to regulate a pathway because catalysis of even the first few reactions of a pathway leads to an unneeded product which diverts energy and metabolites from more important process. Coming to the significance of key enzymes. So, adjustments in the rate of reactions catalyzed by regulatory enzymes affects the rate of entire pathway which allows cell to meet the changing needs for energy and biomolecules required in growth and repair. 